Hello, friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Daily Events Worldwide, and we are on February 22nd, 2023. Welcome to another Surviving Day on the Planet, and welcome to The Daily Do, giving you your space weather update, as well earthquakes, volcanoes, and world weather. Checking out here the last 48 hours on our sun as we saw another 2M class solar flares since last night's update. Looking here, 304 angstroms the last 48 hours. Still pretty active region, cresting in the top northwest region. Looking here, incoming Earth to scale. All cresting sunspot region and as well. Look at those plasma filaments dancing around the surface. One of them ripped away, creating a CME. Small CME glancing blow is expected. Looking at the last 48 hours outgoing. No major events in the outgoing view, except for plasma, as it is lifting pretty high from the surface. Closer look here at the most active region that we've seen here this week. Producing three M-class solar flares from these regions. And we've seen multiple throughout the week. Solar impacts have been on the high recently. Looking at multi-spectrum here. We did see that plasma tornado spinning around the northwest region. Energies hopping back and forth between sunspot regions in the northern hemisphere. Definitely keeping an eye on our sun recently. Seems to be a little bit dramatic and sporadic at times. Having a look at 171 angstroms here, this is where we can see the coronal hole regions. As we do have one there, and as well one in the southern hemisphere. Amazing images brought to you by Solar Dynamics Observatory. Mixed here with daily events worldwide. Hope you enjoy the content shared. Looking at our solar x-ray flux as it remains in a C range. There are the two M-class solar flares since last night's update. So we've seen six over the past 72 hours, geomagnetic activity slightly elevated at KP2. Looking at the highest frequency absorption here around the world from these solar flares, active sunspot regions, creating elongated cosmic pulses. Looking at a real-time solar wind sitting about 471 kilometers per second, bumped up to about 490 earlier today noticing here the density cosmic charge particles 11.6 starting to jump up looking at our magnetosphere with our solar winds this is how our planet is holding out from over 400 kilometers per second and then versus here with the pressure as we are under a lot of pressure right now Looking at the ISWA Space Prediction Spiral, here we can see that CME that took off from our sun, set to give us a glancing blow. Looks like 25th into the 26th. So 72 hours from now, pretty much. Schumann Resonance for today is a power of 11. Hopping up a little bit since our low numbers the last few days. Quality of 10.8 amplitude of seven. Now let's get to earthquakes past 24 hours as we're going to start out here in North American plate as we have an earthquake swarm occurring in western Texas. They've seen about a dozen earthquakes today, strongest being a 4.2 magnitude and a 4.0. Mina, Nevada reporting a 3.5 and as well a couple northern California earthquakes, Ferndale 3.2, Hawaiian Island 3.2 earthquake, 43 kilometer depth, as well a 2.8 Pahala. Quiet through Alaska, except for minor activity. 4.9 there, Bonin Islands region. 5.6 Babar, Indonesia, 124 kilometer depth. And we get to the Tonga region where we have one lonely deep earthquake. 4.8 magnitude, 520 kilometer depth. 4.6 there in New Zealand. That was reported yesterday. 
We also have up into the Burma plate here, a 4.6 Indonesia, as well a 4.8 Nepal, 5.1 earthquake here in Garash, Iran, and Turkey still seeing earthquakes. Hani, 4.4, and Sidon, Lebanon, 4.4. Off the coast, overlooking South America, Southern Chile, Constitution, 4.3. And as well, northward up into Kalama, Chile, 4.1. And then across the Caribbean plate today, 4.3 here. Marigot, Haiti. That was just off the coast as well. Cruise Bay, 3.8, 3.9. And that's the last 24 hours for earthquakes around the world. Give you a quick glance at the last seven days for shakers across the planet. Take a quick moment to thank you all for inviting me into your living rooms or wherever you're watching from. Thank you for tuning in. I really appreciate you being a part of this epic journey, keeping humanity aware and prepared to earthquakes, natural disasters, extreme weather, and of course, space weather. It's been a pretty slow few days. USGS reporting just above 230 earthquakes right now. Having a look at the Pacific Disaster Center, showing the most recent satellite imagery around the world, as well the most recent volcanoes getting updated today. As there are not many still, but we have Fuego in Guatemala. As well, tornado there in Paducah, Kentucky. 215 active hazards right now. Swiss and Najima in Japan. Senge in Ecuador. Man, there are a lot of flood warnings here. Shevelich in Russia. Sabinkaya in Peru, Karangatang in Indonesia, Simaru, Indonesia, Dekono, Indonesia. And that's all in the last four hours, folks. It's about eight volcanoes getting updated today. Overlooking satellite imagery, we do have that big winter storm and extreme weather event happening across the United States and into Ontario right now. Extreme cold temperatures across the prairies. Let's just have a look here. Tornado warnings, St. Louis, Missouri, Paducah, Kentucky, and as well, Lincoln, Illinois. With this strong system that is pumping up into Ontario. Winter storm conditions as far south as Arizona and Albuquerque, New Mexico. Quick look here at the satellite imagery as we have that huge Pacific low heading into the Pacific Northwest of the United States developing into a Colorado low and as well this low pressure system being fueled by the Gulf of Mexico. So watch for mixed precipitation to continue through northeastern United States and into some parts of Ontario but northward it will be snow as we have extreme cold warnings straight across Canada right now and as well some very windy conditions right now. I don't know if you can hear the wind howling through the window here. Carrying on here, looking at satellite imagery, large system through the northern Pacific. Flood warnings straight across the Northern Territory and parts of Queensland, Australia, as we've had multiple systems affecting you this week. We have a tropical cyclone Newly developed here in the southern Indian Ocean, Tropical Cyclone Inala and Tropical Cyclone Freddy has now made landfall in Madagascar and is trying to reform just off the coast of eastern southeastern Africa. But look at these flood alerts popping up right through the basin and northward and as well Madagascar. Now let's have quick look here at the world weather forecast starting out here with this system that is affecting us here in Ontario 
and as well the United States watching extreme weather breakouts, tornado watches, and snow, as I said, falling as far south as Arizona. Very windy conditions with this low as it's running into the cold high polar vortex. Watch for that to scoot out by tomorrow. And then cold temperatures will follow in behind. Across the Pacific Northwest, you've got a very large low here coming in tomorrow. So watch for snowfall totals to increase, especially through California, as this low pressure system is aiming for California over the next couple days. By Friday into Saturday, you're going to see some extreme weather popping up into Los Angeles. And then that low in the long range forecast will develop into a Colorado low. By then, we've got another low pressure system heading into the BC coastline, bringing some more snowfall totals to the Rockies. Long range forecast by next Monday, you've got an extreme weather event here developing Monday into Tuesday for northeastern United States and Ontario. Overlooking South America, daily evaporation rains, no major systems affecting you this week. Overlooking South Africa, Madagascar, and as well the Indian Ocean, looking at Inala as it's going to head straight south. And Freddy will be crashing into the southeastern coast of Africa. Long range forecast shows that system hanging around for quite a long time here. Overlooking Europe. Got a low pressure system bringing a band of rain towards the United Kingdom. Eastern Europe, low pressure system heading into Moscow. And as well, you've got a couple lows getting trapped in the Mediterranean this week. Nothing major to report, though. Overlooking Southeast Asia, the West Pacific. No major cyclones or typhoons developing here in the long range. And then Australia and New Zealand. Moisture and rain to continue here for the next few days, just bombarding Northern Territory of Australia. And then Northwest regions there. Watch for tropical cyclone developing. Let's have a quick look here at temperatures for the next few days. As the polar vortex is swinging around, extreme cold temperatures dropping down to minus 40 degrees Celsius in some parts of Manitoba and as well northern Quebec. But with the wind chills, you're going to see minus 40, if not more than that. Quick look here at the last, or sorry, at the next few days. Forecast models showing that cold dipping down into BC and Alberta yet again for long range forecast. Winter's nowhere near over. Our polar vortex is nowhere near done with the northern hemisphere either. Let's have a look at how, our look, how it looks right now. Upper level winds. This is where we can see the spinning of our polar vortex. And it's very interesting. All these trade winds across the Pacific and the Atlantic. There is something off. Something off. Huge high pressure ridge straight across North America right now. We're going to go back one year to the day. And this is what our polar vortex look, looked like last year at this time. Look at where our equator was last year versus this year. Some big changes happening on our planet right now. And I wish I could tell you exactly why or how. But I know that there are many, many contributing factors especially solar cycles and as well our magnetic poles, our magnetic field, which is all orchestrated by our sun. So thanks for watching today, everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please, much love and stay aware, prepared, stay young and have fun and get your daily due. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button, subscribe, share with your friends and family from across the world.